Welcome back. Today, let's discuss the medicinal chemistry of adrenergic agonists. Adrenergic agonists are also known as sympathomimetics. This is the basic backbone of all sympathomimetics. It consists of a linearly arranged phenyl group, an ethyl group, and an amine group. This parent structure is called beta phenylethylamine. Adrenergic agonists are classified into two catecholamines and non catecholamines on the basis of the presence or absence of a catechol ring. The catechol ring is a benzene ring with two hydroxyl groups at its third and fourth position. The catechol moiety is an important structural feature to obtain maximal agonistic activity at adrenergic receptors. Examples of catecholamines include epinephrine, norepinephrine, isoproterenol, and dopamine. Examples of non catecholamines are phenylephrine, ephedrine, and amphetamine. Let's dive more into the structure activity relationship of sympathomimetics. Amine group consists of the terminal nitrogen. The smaller the group, the more alpha effect. For example, noradrenaline has nothing here and is a potent alpha selective agonist. Add a short methyl group and you get adrenaline, which has a potent non selective beta effect. Addition of a methyl group generally increases beta selectivity. Next, beta carbon atom, the first carbon atom attached to the phenyl ring. Adding a hydroxyl group on the beta position decreases lipid solubility and CNS penetration. Adding any group on beta carbon increases alpha and beta agonistic activity. Alpha carbon is the second carbon. Adding a group on alpha carbon prevents metabolism by monoamine oxidase, prolonging duration of action. Methylation on alpha carbon increases indirect sympathomimetic activity. Next is the substitution on the aromatic ring and catechol hydroxyl groups. Losing even one hydroxyl group increases lipid solubility and decreases the potency. Changing the hydroxyl groups to the 3 and 5 position increases beta 2 selectivity when there is also a large substitution present on the amine group. Now let's see structures of a few important sympathomimetic drugs. Dopamine is the prototypical catecholamine to which others are compared. Noradrenaline has a hydroxyl group added to the beta carbon, increasing its alpha selectivity. Adrenaline is similar to noradrenaline with an additional hydroxyl group on the beta carbon. Ephedrine has a methyl group on the amine, increasing its beta selectivity. But, ephedrine has no hydroxyl groups on the phenol ring, further reducing its potency and increasing its elimination half-life. Here is a quick summary. If you like the videos, share with others who may find them useful and subscribe. Thanks for watching.